this is something new for you. Uh, this is mainly for old cars, really. Uh, what I've tried to do here is uh, uh, replace the seat belt because the seat belt's not been working, so it's not retracting very well. So you pull it, and it sort of locks and it doesn't work, and it, it's a bit all over the place. Uh, but while doing that, I've took all the trim off, all this sort of stuff off to find the actual assembly, and. Uh, I think what I found here is the reason why it's not working, and the reason and I found another uh, pot of crap is that this bit here, all underneath there, you can see that that bit there is all rusted. So all the uh, rear quarter panel is all rusted through. Uh, I'm looking at the, you see some rust there as well. Looking at this, it looks like it's been repaired in the back. And if you go onto the outer wing, the rear quarter panel see there as well it's rusted through there so the actual rust has caused all sorts of uh, issues at the back here which has stopped me being able to repair this uh, uh, this uh, uh, seat belt assembly uh, I was going to take it off and swap it with another one but judging by this I'm not going to so I'm going to uh, condemn the actual seat belt for for a while make sure my son knows not to put anyone in there other than the other side of that works uh, until I can think of some way of uh, uh, repairing it. I mean, ideally, I don't think this car's going to get passed through another MOT. But I'll tell you what's caused it. Go under here, we'll go underneath the wheel arch. There you can see underneath, like that, but there's no wheel arch lining. And obviously, years of, uh, I don't know how long it's been missing, years of. Uh, Water going up up there, getting caught up, moisture and all sorts of stuff. Getting caught up there has just caused a load of rot, which has affected the safety of the car because obviously the seat belt don't work. So these are the important reasons why your uh, wheel arch liners are very, that you need to have them in there. So when you're doing a repair and you think, oh, I won't bother putting it back, or if it comes off or if it's wherever, you need to get another one. Or replace it do whatever but you need to have these uh, wheel arch linings for your car because this is what happens if you don't I mean you can see you can see down there you can sort of see a bit of bit of daylight so you can see it can't quite see it but there is daylight down there anyway so uh, look at all the wiring there as well that might be affected by the moisture as well so uh, don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet if you've got any ideas let me know what would you do have you seen this sort of stuff before would you repair it or get rid don't quite know I mean the MOT doesn't run out till another six months so we're all right that way but it's a 20 year old car uh, so not sure what I'm gonna do yet I'm gonna put it all back together condemn the seat belt make sure no one it doesn't take anyone with that requires a seat belt and uh, uh, and that's that and see what I'm gonna do if I do decide to pair it I'll get back to you and and show you but as it stands I don't think I don't think I'm gonna this is uh, just a bit of an insight really not a repair video or anything like that it's just uh, a bit of DIYing I and mean, this is what you find when you come to DIY, obviously the pros would know what to do with this, but I'm probably going to leave this. So hopefully uh, this is interesting for you. Thanks for watching. Uh, catch you soon.